It was not what America was supposed to look like. But then, America made something happen. The previous administration talked a lot about faith, but its actions were consistently antagonistic toward people of faith. I mean, when you have the Obama administration in opposition to a group called... Little Sisters of the Poor. What was that? Little Sisters of the Poor. I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't quite get that. Little Sisters of the Poor. Oh! When you have Barack Obama sending his highly trained government attorneys into fierce legal battle with the Little Sisters of the Poor, it says way more than any speech he ever gave. Thanks, Obama! That's the same president who put two justices on the Supreme Court, both in favor of redefining marriage, a ruling without even a hint of a constitutional reason. That misguided decision is why Christians are still in court today fighting for their businesses and their freedom. But rather than losing hope, Americans voted for change. In May, President Trump released an executive order on religious freedom. You may remember it did a lot of telling federal agencies to come up with stuff, but did not have much actual content. So little, in fact, that just about every anti-everything we stand for organization looked at it and said, there's not a thing in here we can sue over. It was positively brilliant in its cotton candy-like fluffiness. That was step one, but now we're seeing step two. The Justice Department just released guidelines on religious freedom, 25 pages worth. It does quite a bit. For example, it breathes new life into the often ignored by the federal government Religious Freedom Restoration Act. You may recall the previous administration tried to tightly constrain religious freedom within the four walls of a church building. They must be free to worship. This new guidance corrects that mean-spirited antagonism and says religious freedom also includes corporations, colleges, and others that regular people like us would look at and say, yep, they're Christian. For example, if a Christian family runs a business on Christian principles for the glory of God and says so in so many words, what what business does the government have telling them they can't do that? There's a lot more in there, but here's the main point. The experts appear to agree that there is nothing new in here. It simply reaffirms what's already in the law and in the Constitution regarding religious freedom, which is to say, freedom is what America looks like.